Hi, I'm, I'm Rod Rorick, and I'm going to demonstrate for you today on EVA uh, some of the advances and refinements in, in the use of fillers in, in the face. You can see that her left brow is a little bit lower than her right brow, and she's got good malar prominence. Uh, she's uh, flatter on this side, and she has some um, early um, fat loss of her lateral chin area, and she's got asymmetry of her mentalis. She's got some fine periorbital right ids, downturning of the sides of her mouth or commissures. And she's got a full crow's feet that extends from the lateral orbit and lateral brow all the way down to the mid cheek, and more so on the right than on the left. If you look at her tear troughs, she's got more fullness of her cheek on the right, and uh, we'll correct that as well. And she's got uh, the V deformity of both sides of her cheeks. To prep the face for fillers, I like to use correcting uh, which is a, on a maxi swab stick and so what I'll do is we're going to prep her entire face. There are many different ways to fill the temporal area. Uh, I like to use a blended filler and so this is Restylane with 0.5 cc's of point of half percent lidocaine and uh, you can use it deep or superficial. I actually like to go more in the <coughs> superficial plane and blending it and this is uh, 1.5 cc's and I go from lateral medial and I inject anti-grade and retrograde and I'm constantly moving my needles so that I'm not in close to any type of vessel and this is below the subcutaneous tissue and you're blending it and it goes just to the malar eminence and you can also go into the lateral upper brow it works beautifully in that area and so I'm, I'm injecting subcutaneously Ordinarily, I would have a light shining here so I could see any of the superficial veins. I really like to put it where I think you've lost it, and that's in the subcutaneous plane. So that's 1.5 cc's of the blended Restylane. And the biggest bonus is in the lateral brow area. It gives the illusion of length of, of actually elevating the brow. And in this patient, that's very important because she's actually very low. And then I end up with this hollowing. There's also a hollow right in the lateral canthal area. So I inject that. As you're using and blending the, the filler, so you're not overcorrecting. You're just getting it to where it looks good. So now Voluma is an amazing, a deep volumizing filler. I'm going to inject lateral for blending because where she's lost her fat is lateral, not medial, except in the central area she's lost it in her in her malar eminence. So I'm going to inject in these areas as well as in, and these are all deep. I like to use a highlight and, and then I get the area where there's still some contour depression, which is right here, and I inject it in that area. And the other thing I do is I actually blend it going from medial to lateral, and I really think it's important to do that because you're really setting it and putting it in place. And so she's got it, uh, I place it lateral to her superior temporal fat pad, middle and inferior. And I actually place it in that area so that she blends it. You see how she's got this contour, uh, she's lost fat in this area. So I'm gonna put the Voluma high, middle, and even some in the lower malar area and the lower f superficial fat pad and then deep, guided by her asymmetries, which is normal. So I'm going to just put a little bit lower and more into the areas of the middle, lower fat pad, and then of course also into your deep. So you see how you can just remarkably change that. So you're injecting, you're going deep to superficial. You can't do it just integrate or retrograde. You're going to be injecting and moving the entire time period. It's very safe to do that. And you can see I injected her more laterally in this area because she needed it. So we added a total of volume of two cc's of Voluma on the left and then one on the right. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do um, Juvederm. And the Juvederm is a great softer filler, uh, easy to inject, and it works great for nasal folds. I love it for the commissures in the lateral chin folds. I usually start from inferior, and it's a radial injection subcutaneously. And then I go into the commissure, and then I actually go cross radial. So I'm going cross radial, and I'm actually injecting and lifting. So I'm injecting deep and lifting up into the commissure. And then I inject a little bit into the lip. You can see just all she needs is a little long commissure. And I call this a U-shaped injection where you're injecting it into the lateral third of the lip. So I inject it into this U-shaped area in the commissure and across radial technique. And then I'll just make sure that it's blended. Not a lot of pressure at all. I just want to make sure that it's in the right place. Restylane Silk is a new approved hyaluronic acid, which is a smaller particle Restylane. And so it is for dermal use. Yeah, we're going to go from lateral to medial and inject those areas. And you can go from above or below. And then I'll do her commissure, her, her filtral columns. And then she has a central right in there. A little ultrasound gel just to help. It'll help me feel if there's any irregularities in this area. And again, I'm just feeling it 
So you look how that's changed. You can see that. And then I'm going to do our other filtral column. A little goes a long way with restful and silk. So if you want to volumize the lower lip, don't volumize it all the way across. I mean, most of the volumizing should be done if you draw a line from the ailer base to here, it should be medial. This is the portion of the lower lip that you should volumize, which is a central two thirds. She just has some aging um, horizontal pleats. So I'm just going to just inject a little bit of volume in there. And I'm really, you don't inject, this is not a filler to inject into the um, muscle. This is in the mucosa. Mm -hmm. 